Welcome to the floor of my library. Today I have my spring unhaul. This is a little bit late seeing as this video is coming out in July, but it's whatever, it happens. Um, so I've got a lot of different books. Some of these I've read the whole way through, some of them I started and just couldn't get myself to finish. Others, well, I have a really long TBR on my shelves and I just have to kind of admit to myself that there are some of these books that I'm just not going to get around to. I will say in preparation for this video I looked through the books and put three of the ones that I was deciding not to read back onto my shelves because I got excited all over again looking at them even though it's still probably going to be a while before I get to them. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Um, there's a couple of different places that I donate to. Um, I donate to my workplace, um, the Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch, because the kids are really limited in what they're allowed to do for entertainment um, for pretty, pretty obvious reasons, like social media and computers and stuff can just have a lot of really triggering things and we want to get them out and about and working on their treatment. So I will be donating some of the appropriate books to them. I also volunteer with my local friends of the library, so I will. I got some of these books there and will be bringing some of them back because I didn't love them or I don't see myself rereading it. And any leftovers will probably go to a local used bookstore. So I'm going to start off with some of the more problematic authors. First up, I have Marion Zimmer Bradley, and I have The Forest House and Firebrand. I did not know who Marion Zimmer Bradley was whenever I initially read um, The Mists of Avalon. This is a retelling of the tale of King Arthur, and it was a book that I just really, really loved. Um, and I decided like, hey, I really love this book, I don't normally read fantasy, I wonder what else this author has come up with. And in finding more of her books, I also found out more about her. Marion Zimmer Bradley is a terrible person. But you can like the art and not like the artist. I try to stay away from problematic authors who are currently living if they are already dead and no longer benefiting from my money or what have you. A lot of times I'm interested to see what exactly they had to say, how they're problematic, um, stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm interested in the darker side of life sometimes. But anyways, I did read Firebrand. This is a retelling of the Battle of Troy. Um, I enjoyed it. It wasn't on the level of Mists of Avalon and it's one that I just don't see myself having time to reread. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and unhaul this. This is definitely not appropriate for the Yellowstone Boys and Girls Ranch, and it's not in the right condition to go to the Friends, so this will be going to a local used bookstore, probably the same one I bought it from. And I also have The Forest House. This one is, I think, in like the same place as Avalon. Um, I have not had time to read this in learning more about the author. I've just kind of fallen out of the idea of reading a lot more of her stuff. And again, I struggle reading fantasy, so I just don't see myself getting to this one. I'm still kind of hesitant to give it away because I do want to learn more about Avalon, but some books I just have to realize I'm not going to have time for this. And for my second problematic author. Let's go with some J.K. Rowling. I realize this says Robert Galbraith. Um, hello to those of you who are living under a rock and didn't know that she was writing under another author's name. Um, the Casual Vacancy, of course, was the first book that she came out with after Harry Potter. I started it once and it was super political and boring. Um, that was a while ago, and then I got it whenever I saw a copy at a sale. And at this point, I don't, I don't want to read about politics. I don't care. I, no, bye. Um, 
these are the first three books in the Cormoran Strike series. I did enjoy these three. I like a good mystery. I prefer mysteries that are not from the detective's perspective. Um, I also prefer to read my series after they've been finished. I don't really have the patience to wait for someone to finish a series. And at this point, not only have I fallen out of pace with the series because I was waiting on the fourth book, um, I hear kind of lackluster reviews on the fourth book, and at this point I just don't want to support J.K. Rowling because she's being a pretty terrible person. At first, you know, you think, oh, Dumbledore's gay, that's cool, she's adding in some diversity. And then people kind of wise up to it as she goes on and be like, oh, you're just adding in diversity so you can get more readers or more viewers or what have you. So I just, I'm not interested in her anymore. I'm not particularly interested in finishing the series at this point, so those are going to go. My next little pile here I have finished and just won't be rereading for one reason or another. This is a hard copy version of Pride and Prejudice. I just found a softbound copy that is the same edition as one or two of my other ones, I think. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one up. I also prefer the paperbacks to the hard covers. I like the way they sit in my hand better. Um, just, it's, it's a preference. I have Arthur Miller's The Crucible. I have the modern classics version of this, so I won't be needing this one anymore. Mary Higgins Clark all around the town. I loved Mary Higgins Clark. She was one of the first big like mystery authors that I got into growing up. Um, one summer I read like nothing but Mary Higgins Clark. I kind of got sick of her as happens when you read too much of an author. Um, I am keeping one or two books that I still really love at this point. I don't think I'll be rereading this one. All around the town is one of the darkest books I think she's ever written. Um, this girl gets kidnapped and raped and it really goes into the PTSD that she's dealing with and it's a little dark even for me and there's just better mysteries around at this point that I found so I just need something different so this is gonna go. Um, the Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, I read this for the Mental Health-a-thon. I did enjoy it, it's a very very well done book. The autistic voice is a little annoying to me, like it's just not something I really enjoy reading. I do think that the YBGR kids will absolutely love and connect with this book, so I'm going to go ahead and give that to them. Um, on that same note, I got Sparrow for Mental Health-a-thon. Again, I really really enjoyed this book. It is younger than I tend to read, and much as I enjoyed it, I don't really see myself rereading it again. So this is one I think the kids will really benefit from. Can't wait to see what they think about it. Next up is Station Eleven. Um, I will go ahead and link, I will link my review for Sparrow and for Station Eleven down below. This one I didn't love. Maybe a lot of it's just over my head because I don't really care about Shakespeare. Um, a lot of stuff is implied that while I get what the implication is, I prefer it whenever it's just blatantly said. Um, I've, I've got a couple of issues with this. You'll see it if you choose to see the review. Um, yeah, this one's going. And Prozac Nation, another mental health-a-thon read. I like Elizabeth Wurzel's writing. I think she's very talented. However, her voice is very whiny and entitled. And I get that she's depressed, but I think there's being depressed doesn't give you a right to be unkind to people um just wasn't into this story and lastly for books that i have read i have three of my jody pico books i've had quite the collection of jody pico growing up um i'm holding on to the ones that interest me the most or that i am most likely to reread um, I am trying to kind of cut down on that so I have more room for other things on my shelves. So I will be getting rid of Keeping Faith, Plain Truth, and Perfect Match. These... Keeping Faith could probably go to YBGR. The other two I think are a bit too sexually based um, to be going to the kids. 
so. Next I have a couple of books that I started and did not finish. Uh, Mating by Norman Rush. This is a book that I picked up whenever I was in the middle of my sex education classes in college because I thought it looked interesting. I don't know how many times I restarted this book and I just wasn't getting into it. At this point I'm thinking it might just be like a really long erotica or something. I don't know. I haven't really read more than the first chapter or two. I just was never able to get into it. I don't see myself reading in the future. That's gonna go probably to my local used bookstore because of the condition that it's in. This one will be going to the friends. It is Jeffrey Eugenides' Fresh Complaint. I really love Jeffrey Eugenides. He is one of my favorite authors. Unpopular opinion, I loved Marriage Plot more than I loved any of his other books. Super unpopular opinion. I don't actually understand why people don't like that book, but that book got me through a lot in college. Anyways, um, I am not super into short stories. I thought I would like this because it's written by him. And I got probably halfway through this book. Um, the stories were all right, but not enough to really keep me going. So as much as I would like to collect all of the Jeffrey Eugenides books, I just, this isn't worth me keeping around. Lastly, for books that I started and didn't finish, I have erotic stories for Punjabi widows. I was really looking forward to reading this. You have a woman who starts a writing group and the women are really into writing erotic stories. Um, and I just, I really thought that I would love it. It's exactly the kind of premise that I'm into. And I don't know what it was. It just kind of, it was really slow paced. The stories didn't really connect up with one another. Um, I think I stopped maybe a quarter or a third of the way through because it took me over a month to get to that point and I still just didn't look forward to picking this up. I kept thinking I'll try it again later, but at this point it's just not going to happen. When I think about trying this book again, I just feel exhausted. So it doesn't make me happy, it's gotta go. Lastly are four books that I have not gotten around to reading yet. First is The Known World. I picked this up at a Friends of the Library sale. Um, I looked over the premise again and it just doesn't look like something I'm really excited for or will get around to, so that's gonna go. I have an autographed copy of Craig Johnson's Depth of Winter that I won at a drawing at a sale last year for the Friends of the Library. Um, it's a really nice edition. It's autographed. I don't read westerns. And this isn't something that's gonna turn up in my I don't read that video series, which I will link down below, because I don't think I've ever read a western. I'm not interested in westerns. I, I live in Montana, but I don't care about cowboys. Do with that what you will. Hashtag stereotypes. Yeah, I'm not gonna read this. Closest I've gotten to reading a western was when I started the Dark Tower series, which I never finished because I just, I don't want to read a western. What you gonna do? I have Maury in his own words. I got interested in this when I realized it was Maury from Tuesdays with Maury. It looks like one of those kind of self-help books that's filled with quotes and stuff. Um, ultimately it's not the kind of book that I'm interested in and though I really loved Tuesdays with Maury and Maury seems like a super interesting person, even being short, I'm not gonna get around to reading this. And lastly, I have this pretty purple copy of Wuthering Heights. I am working on going through the Brontes and my mom decided to go ahead and get me a copy of Wuthering Heights that goes with my uh, Barnes and Noble paperback books. So I went ahead and put that on my shelf and it's going to replace this one, which I will be donating. But that is it for my spring unhaul. Not nearly as large as some of the hauls that I've been doing, but I'm making an effort. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. I will see you in my next video. Please like, subscribe, and be my friend for more awesome bookish content. Bye!